So in this video, we're going to create virtual cameras, put them somewhere in the scene, and then show the output of those virtual cameras either on GUI panels like this or on a material. And I'll show you that now. So let me show you this first. So this is something I usually show in training. We've got a drone, camera pointing forwards and a camera pointing down. I'm also showing the height of the drone there. But if I, I think this is more like, or more likely how these would be used. If I move over here to the TV, pressing this button normally opens up the network um, enable settings. When I press this now, it shows my CCTV cameras around the house. And this is just two planes and I'm showing the render to texture on the material which is on those planes. And I just turn them on and off with this button. If I just fly outside to show you these cameras, remember this for the um, the rest of the video, I'm displaying my cameras like this, just so I have a, an idea of where they are. You don't even need those the cameras to be shown. Of course, you could actually get a model of a, a proper CCTV camera, of course, and just show them instead. So I, I have a one of our training scenes here and I've added a drone. I've added a limit constraint to it. And if we go down here, I've limited it to zero meters at the bottom and going up, it can go up to 120 meters and rotation. It will only rotate one way. If I hold down my control key and use my space mouse, I can now fly this around. As you can see, it won't go through the floor and it will go up to 120 meters because that's the limit that you can fly drones to in the UK without a special license. And it will only rotate like that. What I'm wanting to do is add a camera to the bottom of it and show the output of that camera in a screen here and maybe output the altitude of the drone as well. So one of the first things we need to do is go to the developer tab and go somewhere we don't usually recommend our users to go. Under users, view config, we're going to copy this camera. Oops, copy, paste it onto the scenes root up here and then delete everything apart from the master scene link don't need these. I'm then going to go to the scenes tree, create an assembly. I'll call this camera view. And what we need to do now is get a camera helper. So when you create a viewpoint, um, under the viewpoint, you get a camera helper. I'm going to see if I've already got one. Right, we do have one viewpoint in this scene. There is the camera helper. So if you don't have a viewpoint already, just go somewhere, create a viewpoint, and you're going to just take that camera helper, copy, paste it onto the camera view. and enable this. I've created this on the scenes route. This needs to go onto the drone, but I didn't create it on the drone directly because it would have taken the drones scale and I'd 
I've rescaled this, it was a sphere. So drag, drop that onto there. And then drag and drop the camera onto there. One thing we need to do at the camera level is change the constraint type to none. Okay, next thing, go to the developer tab. On libraries, I'm going to create a new library, call it textures. Right click, create, down to view tracking nodes and render to texture. Expand that and in viewport, we're going to drag our camera, the new one that we've created. So under drone, find the camera, drag it to there. So if we go and find this camera helper now, let's see if we can fly to it. It's at zero, 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 but we actually want this. And this is the only reason we, we've got this camera helper here is so we can move it around. If I move it to the bottom there, rotate it so it's pointing down. And we want it somewhere in the middle Looks okay. So what we need to do now is get the output from that onto a GUI billboard here. So as we all know, we need to make sure we're on the developer tab Close these up, right click, create, billboard, and we'll call this camera monitor, going to have screen, screen, I think we'll go for view. Underneath that, GUI, and then panel. And then, do we have another panel? I think we do. And image panel. So there we go. I think if we move this around, put it in the corner somewhere and we'll scale it up a bit. So I think we need to put render to texture in this image panel and we could have a colored panel style for these panels here so if we drag the render to texture into there we'll create a GUI resource colored panel style like this blue, drop that into these panels. Let 
let's see. So I was hoping it would work there, but obviously we've got something wrong somewhere. So let's take a look. Okay. So render to texture. There's no need for that to be like that. These are all correct. If I go to camera, Okay, camera. These should all be at zero. Okay, that's probably the issue. We can see that now. That's better. But I think I need to move the position of this. So if I move this up and to the right, I'll have my border. So the other thing we want to do, let's try that out first. I select the drone and I want to fly over here. It's as though we're standing in a field and we've got our drone and we are flying it around. There we go. Um, it, obviously I'm, I'm just thinking of the drone here but to slow that down because it, it is going very fast you would go into your 3D connection settings and you should have the app installed on your PC. So the altitude, what do we need to do? Go here under this panel, create GUI items and there we go. That's what we're after. We'll call this altitude. Don't really want it that large. Let's get rid of that. We probably want this border a little bit larger, don't we? But Let's go for a colored label style. So back up to here. Create the GUI resources. Colored label style. We're going to have the text quite small, nice and bright. Not sure what font we'll put in, but center middle and we'll leave the rest. We'll, we may change the font when we see what it looks like. So we can now add that style there. And what we need to do is check that altitude, um, let's say every frame. So create an event. It's a time step. Where is time step?
going blind. Rename it. Check alt. So if we open that, and what we need to drag into here is the drone and the altitude there. And if we do local equals the height. So altitude.text is this field here, altitude.text, and you put the height in there. And we're saying, get this, the field, the Y field in the uh, drone.position, change it to a string format, um, you know, two decimal points, height equals this, show height in here, and we're displaying this here. If I compile that and fly my drone now, we just need to change the size here to get this along there. We actually want this coloured label style, the background colour, we want to change the opacity all the way down so we don't actually see the, the huge label. And we just want to move this to the middle, don't we? Let's put it there. Make these borders a little bit larger. That's this one. Okay, yes. And move the image panel. And then move this one up. So there we go. Let's just check this. The drone. 2.37, yes. There we go. Oops. So, of course, you could use this camera and have the output for anything. If you're, you want CCTV, do the same thing. And you could have a bank of monitors displaying it. Mm -hmm.